Good morning everyone. We have made it to the Colosseum. Woo! But yeah, so much bigger than I thought. Oh my gosh. Because we were in, obviously in an empty theater yesterday. And yeah, it's just nowhere near as big as this one. Although the one we were in yesterday was the oldest. Oldest one. Oldest theater. And yeah, obviously there's no real seating left anymore, but I'd say probably that seating over there was for, uh, you know, the emperors and stuff like that, which is why it's, you know, front and center right there. Super obvious. One of the ancient frescoes. <laughs> basically run by the emperor, paid for by the emperor. You got to, you know, decide who the gladiators were and source the gladiators or source the, source the animals. So, yeah, that's why it didn't end up lasting too long because it got expensive. <laughs> Over here you can see the Arch of Constantine, looking all magnificent and glorious. It's pretty cool. So we made it down to the bottom level. Look at how deep it is, oh my gosh. Whoa. And then the top level. And then where we were before. Yeah, this is really cool. This is much deeper than I thought it was. And the last, the last show here was in 523 AD. Just a casual 1500 years ago. No worries. Not as many people over here, which is nice. Yeah. And you get a slightly better photo. Didn't they get a braces or something? <laughs> yeah, I thought one girl got braces too. Awesome. I love it. We wanted to go down to this bit and that bit, but um, yeah, sadly you got to pay more for that, and we didn't realize. Sad panda. Oh well, that's okay. We can still see all this, and it is pretty cool. And for 12 euros, it also included the Roman Forum and what is it? Palatine Hill Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. That is the Colosseum. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My little uh, follow me around the Colosseum. Maybe you don't come in the right in the middle of summer like us. It's super hot, as you can probably tell by my shiny face. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's so much bigger in person than you realize. So, oh, and be careful on the marble. I'm wearing jandals. Yeah, I've nearly slipped about five times. So, be careful. Um, but yeah, definitely do come. I think for 12 euros, it's totally worth it. And it's amazing. It's super worth it. All right, cool. Chat soon. Bye. Hey everyone, so it's actually still part of day one in Rome, um, same day that we did the Coliseum, but um, had to do a quick outfit change because I was like so super busy. So, anyway, we have decided to come out again and uh, we've got had lunch before and we've decided to just that step. So here, here we are, here's what it looks like. The 10 million tourists. So obviously you've got like the fountain at the bottom and then um, you go up the steps to a cathedral. And this is a very famous monument in Roma. Cool, huh? And it's a beautiful day for it. In fact, it's probably too good of a day for it. It's like 35 degrees right now. And it's up. Okay. It is hot. Man. Okay, so we made it to the top. 
after having to pause for a water break despite it only being about 50 steps because it's so hot. <laughs> um, anywho, <clears throat> as you can see behind me we've got uh, the church, um, the cathedral and yeah I'll show you the little view of um, no, well, no, excuse me. No, 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 no. I had a really bad experience with that in Venice, so I'm not doing that again. So here is obviously where we were, just down there and down by that fountain, which obviously looks up to here. Um, and there's the steps that we walked up. And over in the background, over there, you can see the St. Peter's Basilica, not the one that's not the dome right in front of us but the one sort of after that according to Lehan but um yeah here's here's the view up here relatively high selfie sticks everywhere people selling fresh water and the church Monument number two in Euro. All done. <laughs> Getting there. Awesome. Hey everyone. We made it to the Piazza Square. And um, it's time for me to throw in my coin to uh, ensure that I return to Rome. Everybody, we made it. Uh, we made it onto our next monument. So I thought I would just give you a little bit of information about it. Um, so, in case you didn't know, I'm here at the Pantheon, and this temple is the only monument in classical style which can be found intact in Rome. The inscription on the architrave of the portico in Agrippa L. F. was Tertium Tertium Feature refers to a temple erected by Agrippa in 27 BC who dedicated it to the tutelary divinity of the Julia family. The present construction was remodeled in 117 to 125 AD under the Emperor Hadrian. This monument contains the tombs of Raphael and the kings of Italy. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, some information about it. But yeah, look at it. It's enormous. Here is the Pantheon in real life. Thanks for the bombing, Liam. It is huge. So huge. And, you know, in true, Ro in true uh, Rome style, there's like 10,000 people here. <laughs> ceiling and the niches in the in the ceiling as well wow that is super cool and it's free surprisingly light in here I was expecting it to be darker Good morning everyone, it is day two in Rome, in Roma, and we're back by the Colosseum um, because there is the Arch of Constantine. So Constantine was an emperor and yeah, I've forgotten all the other cool stuff 
but I do remember studying this in classics in the seventh form. So this is like third form Latin, seventh form classics, dreams like coming true, seeing like the Colosseum and the Arch of Constantine. So yeah, pretty awesome. And then we'll be heading off to the Forum after this and Palatine Hill. Look, there's like a little little tornado right there. A little dust tornado. I really wanted to get someone to actually sell <laughs> Yeah, that would be hilarious. And I think it's fizzing out now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, cool. So we made it up to Palatine Hill. Pretty amazing here. This, this here was um, the big courtyard and stuff, and over there is where they had a like a little coliseum, but not where they had gladiators. So, because Christian, the Christians didn't believe in, you know, fighting and gladiators and stuff like that. And then over here you had some like fountains and stuff like that, and you had like little statues in between the little um, underneath all the arches and stuff, and fountains, and it's all piped and had all lots of water and stuff, and then yeah, lots and lots of rooms, and over here you got more pipes and stuff. Um, with the big aqueducts and all of that. Here is the, the top of Palatine Hill. Looks like you've got a little temple over there. And over there in the background you've got St. Peter's Basilica. The Vatican City. city and then I'm fairly sure down there is the Roman Forum which we have yet to explore so we've got another another amazing view here and then Colosseum in the background so yeah this bit here must be the the forum Cool. Okay, so we've made it into the forum. So all of these things here that you would be seeing, or that you can see, all of these brickworks and stuff, were all shops back in the day. Um, yeah. And this path, or you know, road here is called the Via Nova. It's you know, north. What did they say on the sign? It was like the northwest orientation road that runs straight uh, parallel to the Via Sacra, which is inside Palatine Hill. So, the, yeah. The ground is pretty uneven, so it's pretty hard for me to get stable footage, but I am trying. <laughs> Stairs going up. Cool. Ah, uh, this is a temple de Romulus. So-called temple of Romulus. Oh, it was built by the Emperor Maxen Maxentius in 307 AD in honour of his son who died in childhood. Pope Felix V turned the monument into the vestibule of Church of St. Cosma and Damien. Hmm. I wish I'd bought an umbrella too. Is 
There's a few columns left, but not many. So I overheard another person saying that the barbarians used horses and uh, had a whole bunch of rope connected to the horses so that they could pull down all of the columns, which is why you see so many columns, you know, and pieces on the ground in front of all the buildings. So there you go. Yeah, we made it to the Victor Emmanuel Monument. He was the first king of Italy. And this is a ginormous monument. It is super huge and ostentatious and pretty amazing. <laughs> and don't forget the big Italian flags. And you've got like angels painting and stuff. And then at the top there you've got people on horses with arrows or angels on horses and yeah pretty awesome <laughs> so this is the view that you get from the top there's that big you know King Victor on the horse Oh, and I think over there is the Pantheon. So you get told off if you're uh, eating in, on this monument, and then you also get told off if you um, take off your shoes. So make sure you don't take off your shoes or start eating here because you will get told off. <laughs> Hey everyone, we have made it to day three in Roma. This is our final day that we're going to the Vatican today. Um, behind me in the background you can see a castle. That castle is either Adrian's castle or the castle of Angelo. Casa... no, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's a cool looking castle. And you've got this cool bridge with like angels and stuff on the side so um which kind of leads up to it and apparently this is where uh this used to be like a prison and stuff so people used to be tortured and all that good stuff here so yeah pretty cool so castel sant'angelo is what it's called See, this is that bridge that we just walked across, and this is the really glamorous, uh, super glamorous road. <laughs> and uh, look what we have here in front of us. A person walking straight in front of my vlog, thanks. Um, we have St. Peter's Basilica, straight down here. It's pretty cool, from this, from this angle it looks, yeah, really huge and Imposing and awesome. Looks pretty cool from here. Yeah. So we're currently inside the Vatican Museum, and this here is apparently this octagon garden is where all of the popes have collected all the ancient statues and things like that, and you know where all of these ancient statues are stored. Relief with Paris and Helen. Mmm. Tragic masks. All the tragic poets. We've got a dog. Hey dog. We're not even inside the Sistine Chapel, but look at these, look at the ceiling, 
seriously. And then, you know, just casually, like, some old statues. when you thought it couldn't get any more impressive you walk into a room like this what and it goes on I mean look it goes right the length of this entire room what the hell <laughs> made it inside St. Peter's Basilica. We were in the Sistine Chapel earlier and obviously you're not allowed to film inside there so hence no footage. But um, yeah. Here's the inside. As always we're from or anywhere in Italy. Don't forget to look up. I've always got some pretty grand um, works of art on the wall, I mean, on the ceiling. <sighs> Man, the line to get in here was like 30 minutes, but standing in friggin' 30, what felt like 40 degree heat with the sun on you. Oh my god. Mm. I'm surprised you're allowed to film in here and all the other um, basilicas that we've been in has been a pretty strict no phone no photography rule but hey oh well as always with the Catholic Church everything is like crazy ornate and, you know, since this is in the Vatican, this is the epitome of the Catholic Church. Look at all that gold though, damn. Here is the altar, and here is the dome. The dome is the largest dome in the world. Uh, yeah, that is a pretty fancy altar. Pretty cool. 